Top saw work is done. All these are the pieces that are ready to get fitted. All of the pieces are now marked out so that I can make a production run on the table saw. All that wreckage and four adjustment cuts later, all the pieces fit in nicely. So now I'm going to be notching where the side support pieces come in. It's as simple as lining it up and making a mark. So now I know where I want the notch to be. I'm going to use this 45 degree cut that I made on a small piece to line everything up and draw in the notch that I want. That's going to be about 13 millimeters, which is approximately half an inch. The way it will work is that first I'll cut the notch here, and then I'll move over and I'll cut the notch all the way through and then I'll run it back and forth until it climbs all the way to the apex of the blade and that will make a nice even cut in That's how flat the cut turned out and then you saw well this fits in. It's not exact yet, but pretty darn close. The reason it's not exact yet is because the tips of the blade are flat and they create this part that's just slightly flat. You can see that the corner almost fits. If all I do is cut this approximately like that It'll fit that shape just a little bit better, which will push it in just a little bit more, which will allow this to go down just that millimeter more than it needs. Now it's time to mark these angled pieces against the framing that goes on the side of the hull. That's how it gets connected to the frame on the side of the hull. Goes down to the frame on the bottom of the hull. These triangle pieces are just temporarily nailed in and they add thickness to the top. They're just the waist pieces from these cuts over here. All the angle pieces are done. Obviously everything's very rough still. We're making progress.